Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Saturday Night. Now this is a movie about the hours leading up to the first live broadcast of Saturday Night Live on NBC television. This has been almost 50 years ago and the, this movie get delves in the two hours approximately leading right up to the show going on air for the first time live. Now, I'm not one of these people who watch Saturday Night Live every weekend. I've seen skits from it, sketches from it. Some have been hilarious. They've had some great comedians, you know, be regulars on the show. And this one, Chevy Chase is in it. Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi are portrayed on film, as well as Jane Curtin, Lorraine Newman, Gilda Radner. So you have all of these personalities uh, that are being in play. But the movie is chaotic. It's like they're getting ready to go on the air. They're not sure which skits or sketches they're going to use. They've got enough to fill probably five hours, and they've only got 90 minutes to, to fill. They're still saying, oh, we won't do this. We will do this. Add this. Do this. I can't believe that the people behind this, Lauren Michaels, who is the main driving force and is directing the show and, and making decisions, except he's got NBC brass over his head, second-guessing all of his decisions. I can't believe he would be at this point with the show and not have more control of it. And the, the chaotic nature just drove me buggy. It was like, you know, things were, pieces of equipment were breaking down. People were just, chattering back and forth. They didn't seem to know exactly what, how it was going to start, what it was going to do. People were using drugs, etc. So it was a little bit too chaotic for me. The acting was good. I wasn't that familiar with many of the actors. Uh, Gabriel LaBelle plays Lauren Michaels, and then we have Corey Michael Smith, Dylan O'Brien, Kim Matula, Willem Dafoe, and Nicholas Braun. They're also playing characters involved in this crazy madhouse right up to where the show goes on the air. And that's where the film ends, is where the show is ready to go on the air. And you've just seen the chaos. I, I just, it drove me crazy. I, I don't like chaos in my life. I don't like to observe chaos. And this was just back and forth, back and forth. One thing happened, another thing happening people talking over each other, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It, it just didn't do it for me. The film is rated R because there's much, much, much profanity, and I scored it 5 out of 10. The acting is good. There's some one-liners that are good, but it wasn't as funny as I wanted it to be. I wanted to see, you know, the humor of these people, but you don't see that. You just see the interaction of the actors or the comedians, and it wasn't as funny as I wanted it to be. I Somebody told me, that I was talking to them about this, and they said, well, it's not really what actually happened. It was based on some things that happened. I thought this was somebody re reporting what the really story was up until it went on the air. I still think it's what it's supposed to be. But... Five out of ten for me. But this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of the film Saturday Night.